So here's how to do OHRPGCE sprite editing using the OHRPGCE palette in the GIMP the easy way. Now, um, the GIMP has some built-in features for palettes, but I find them to be pretty annoying. So um, here's what I recommend doing instead. If you look in your Imports folder, and inside your Imports folder, you have your Master Palettes folder, you'll, you'll find your palettes. And uh, just for sake of example, let's say we're using Neo's Better Palette. Just open it up. Zoom in. And we're just going to keep this open, and we're going to use the eyedropper tool to select colors from it. Now I'm going to open up, suppose that I'm drawing a large enemy, so I want 80 by 80. Here we go. And I'm going to zoom that in. All right, now I use, I usually use the pencil tool for pixel art with the smallest uh, smallest pixel brush, and whatever tool I'm using for pixel art, I make sure to turn off. Uh, make sure to turn. Oh, you know what? You know what? Actually, uh, pencil doesn't even have soft edges. But say if I happen to be using the brush, I turn off. Well, darn it! Where are those non-soft edges? Something here has soft edges. Okay, you know what? I'm just not going to worry about that. So anyway, we're using the pencil. And uh, what's the keyboard shortcut for the eyedropper? Tools. Color picker Y. So Y is the color picker. And N is the pencil. So my left hand hovers easily over Y and N, so I can go yeah, easily over Y and N, so I can pick a color, and then I can switch back to my drawing tool, and I can draw a shape, and I can go and hover, and kind of fill, use the evil fill tool, and basically just using this, uh, just using these two tools, I can use that other open image with the eyedropper as my um, as my palette, and I don't ever bother to use um, the GIMP's palleted feature. Uh, you notice this image is RGB, and I leave it that way all the way until I'm done with it. Let's say I'm done with this. This is a really fantastic looking enemy here, um, and I go mode index. I don't even worry about my palettes. That's the hard way. And I just go optimum 16 color, convert. And I know my colors are going to work when I import them into the Sharpie GCE because I got them from the palette. And then save as whatever.bmp. And it will automatically save as a 4-bit BMP because I'm 16 color indexed. And I don't want that because that's not supported by the OHR. And that's the easy way. And if you want to see the way which is technically more correct for the GIMP, I have that in a separate video. Yes.